The government of Imo State is one that is believed to have her workers' welfare at heart. Of course, many have given the government a pass mark, but request for implementation of the new 40,000 naira minimum wage, as promised by Governor Hope Uzodema last year, as well as improved pay. The government has been doing so well, you know, the last couple of months, talking about the workers' welfare. I mean, the salaries are becoming pretty early, and I think that's very wonderful. But the little things I think the government needs to improve on is, you know, the minimum wage implementing it, because looking at how the economic situation has put everybody in a tight corner, I think when the minimum wage has been implemented or is implemented, it will help the workers a lot, a lot. To help them to purchase food stuff in the market, transportation, it will help push on the effect of the fuel subsidy removal. And Don't you think that that will uh, ask the government to do concerning workers to apply to their minimum wage and let them apply to their food? That's a good Nothing much. But I tell you, this is the best government I have seen because teachers are not complaining. Nobody is complaining again. I rather say uh, that the government has been doing very good regarding the worker salary, uh, the paying up the time. But regarding this uh, issue of uh, minimum wage, I want the governor to improve with the issue of uh, the minimum wage because some of them are complaining about the minimum wage. Uh, some lecturers in the state university allege that there has been a cut in the allowances since the onset of the current administration in 2020 and no increment in salaries after promotion. According to some state workers who pleaded anonymity, there are loopholes in the payment system as some persons have been wrongly labelled as ghost workers. Pensioners are not left out as a good number say they are yet to receive pay despite completing a rigorous process of registration. I think some pensioners and workers who have been tagged as ghost workers are really, not everybody I think who has been tagged as ghost workers are truly ghost workers. I think they should you know, take our time to really look at it very well. They are truly ghost workers, but I don't think everybody who has been put under the same umbrella as ghost workers are truly ghost workers. So I think the government has been good to me. Nonetheless, the state government has promised to look into some of these issues. In a worry, Miriam Onyebule for Afia TV.